This is Nick from the QuickBooks team. Small business owners often contribute to their business by purchasing things with their own funds. Let's go over how to record this in QuickBooks. We're going to record the expense and then credit that same amount to the owner's investment account, all using an expense form. We'll also show you how to reimburse the owner if you need to. To start, we need to create a manual expense since the transaction is from a personal account not connected to QuickBooks. Go to New and Expense. Enter who the owner paid for this expense and the date. Then select the payment method the owner used. You can skip the payment account. You'll see why in a bit. Choose a category that reflects what the owner spent the money on. Then describe what the owner paid for and enter the amount of money spent. If the owner made multiple purchases, you should enter them all as separate line items here. Once you're finished, add one more line item. This time, choose Owner's Investment as the category. In the Amount field, enter the minus symbol and the same number that you see up here. This might seem strange, but it tells QuickBooks to create a transaction with a balance of zero. It's not actually going to impact the payment account right here. Instead, this expense account will go up by this amount, and the owner's investment equity account will also go up by the same amount, even though it shows as a negative on the form. When you're ready, select Save and Close. If you need to reimburse the owner for this expense, just record a check. Go to New, and then Check. Fill in the owner's info, select the owner's investment account again, and enter the amount. This records the reimbursement in QuickBooks. You'll still need to write or print an actual check to pay the owner back. For more info on how to print and record checks in QuickBooks, there's a link at the end of this video. Now you know what to do when you need to record a business expense paid for with the owner's personal funds.